All right, thanks for tuning in everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. In this video, we'll explore the difference between the where and having clauses in SQL. And I wanna shout out to women's college basketball this season. It was just a fantastic uh, season. Shout out to South Carolina for winning it all. But you have to agree that this season individually belong to Caitlin Clark. Can't wait to see what she does at the next level. Uh, I have a table that contains Caitlin Clark's game log for the 23-24 season. As you can see here, I have all of these stats and we can take a look at the data here. I'll just run this uh, select and uh, all of the data comes up here. It's just a, a game log, the date, uh, obviously Iowa, uh, the site, whether it's home, neutral, away, the opponent, and then all of these uh, stats. Uh, this is regular season, and then you have uh, tournament results, conference tournament, or the uh, uh, March Madness here, and the results, wins or losses. Not a lot of losses for Iowa this season. So this is what our data looks like. But let's say that I wanted to filter this data. I only want to look at results uh, where Iowa won, on a neutral site. So I'm gonna get a lot of tournament games and some regular season games as well. And I don't want every field, I just want these select fields, maybe the site, the opponent, uh, the uh, the type, um, and then some, um, some stats. So I'm gonna run this right here, and you'll see I have filtered this table down um, to 11 rows because of this where clause. So in this example, the where clause filters the rows based upon the condition result equal W and site equal neutral. And so you may be asking yourself, can I use the where with other comparisons? Certainly, you could use it with greater than, uh, less than, equal to, and, or. You could use it with like if you wanted a partial match. But let's say I wanted to look at uh, all games where Caitlin Clark scored greater than uh, or equal to, let's say, 31, or, not an and, or uh, she assisted on 10 or more, uh, she had 10 or more assists, right? Drop 10 or more dimes. So let's go ahead and run this, and I'll get all of those games where, and you know what, I'm going to quickly just do this. Let's do an order by points in descending value so you can see how the or statement uh, is working for us. And so now it puts all the points in descending order for us. And you'll see there are some games that are below 31, even though we said points greater than or equal to 31, but we said or assists greater than or equal to 10. So I'd expect to see for all of these, the assist totals to be above 10. Now, let's go ahead and run this query. What I'm doing, I'm selecting the site and the result, and I'm doing some aggregations. Show me a count of games, and then just an average. What did, what did Caitlin Clark average uh, across these different uh, games? Grouping by site and result. So, grouping by site and result, right? Away, home, or neutral. Result is gonna be loss or uh, win for that, uh, for that combination of these two columns here. How many games did that uh, comprise? So there were only three away losses and she averaged 33.3. There is one home loss where she averaged 24 and there was one loss on a neutral site. And this is actually the, uh, the national championship game against uh, South Carolina here. So if I were to use the where clause here, which I can to say, show me points uh, greater than equal to uh, 30, let's go ahead and say 31, right? What this is going to do, this is going to, here, I'll just run the result here and you'll notice uh, how many games I have. Um, we're going to have many fewer games because what I've done is I've removed all games that were, that Caitlin scored less than 31 points, right? So what that's done is, removed all of those games first, the where gets processed before any group buys. It doesn't have access to aggregated values. It removes all of those rows and then it does the, uh, the averages here. So of course the averages are gonna be higher because I'm only looking at rows 
uh, where points scored were greater than or equal to 31. So you have to know what you're doing if you're going to use the, the where clause here against aggregated values. So let's go ahead and get rid of our, our where clause here and run this again. This is just going to be against the whole table, and you see the averages uh, go lower because we're looking at the whole table. But let's say that I wanted to uh, get rid of rows, again, after aggregation, right? Against this result set, after everything has been aggregated. So now I can use having. So if I say having average points greater than or equal to 31, I'm gonna get rid of this row here, and I'm gonna get rid of this row here, right? Because I wanna say where the having average points greater than or equal to 31. So if I run this, I'm gonna have a fewer rows here, and those two rows that I pointed out disappear because we are working on aggregated values now. We're filtering aggregated values. That's really the key between the, uh, the key difference between where and having. Where is going to work before your aggregations. Having is going to work after your aggregation. Now, don't be afraid of all of this rounding here. It looks more complicated than what, than what it is. I'm just averaging uh, all of these columns, but I'm rounding them off to one digit. If I don't, I'm going to get a lot of decimal values. So that's all I'm doing here. So now let me show you one last example. Let's do a select of simply the opponent from the game log here, and you'll see I'll get all of the opponents that Iowa played that uh, Caitlin Clark uh, battled uh, during the, uh, the season. But let's say I want to aggregate. I want to count of opponents, um, you know, by opponent. I want to group by opponent and do a count here. So what I could do here, I'll just type it out. We'll do a count uh, star as, let's call this uh, total, whoops, total games, something like that. And we're going to have to do a group by because we have an aggregation. And so I have a video on group by, the difference between group by and partition by. Go check out that video. So anyway, so we're going to do a uh, group by the opponent because that's the only column that we have selected. So what do we get here? Let's go ahead and run this. And you'll see, oh, I should order by, uh, not by opponent this time. I'm going to order by the uh, count. Let's go ahead and order by count uh, a descending order. All right, so let's go ahead and run this. And you'll see, um, so Nebraska as an opponent was played three times. Actually, some good games against uh, Nebraska. I think they lost uh, Nebraska upset Iowa there, uh, but uh, Iowa did get their revenge. But regardless, Nebraska three times, uh, these other teams, Minnesota, Wisconsin two, and then a lot of stragglers here for one times total uh, games. So now, Based upon what we've learned, our having clause works after aggregation, um, where clause would not work. If I wanted to get rid of all opponents where the total games is one, right? I'm not going to use the where clause at this point because total games is not at an individual row level, right? Therefore, I can't use where to filter. I'm filtering after aggregation. So I'm going to have to use having. So again, having comes after group by. I'm going to say where having count greater than one. So that's going to get rid of all of these ones here, just leaving me with the threes and twos. So if I were to run this, you'll see I just have these opponents that Iowa played more than once. So if you don't remember anything else, remember that the, uh, the where clause, the key difference is here, the where clause filters individual rows, while the having clause filters groups of rows. The where clause is used before the group by clause, while the having clause is used after the group by clause. You're filtering aggregated data with uh, having. And so uh, one last thing, the where clause cannot be used with aggregate functions, while the having clause can be used with aggregate functions. So um, just want to leave you with that. Hope you found this useful. I'm going to say one more time uh, here, great game against UConn and, and Paige Beckers. They lost in a heartbreaker. Uh, I think UConn was cheated by the refs with an iffy call in the final four, taking the ball out of the player's hands. Uh, if you think UConn should have had a chance to win the game there in the fourth, leave a, a husky emoji or a dog emoji uh, in the comments. So this has been Anthony Smoke. Hope you learned something new here. Get out there and do some great things with your data. And shout out to Caitlin Clark. Can't wait to see what she does at the next level. Thanks for watching, everyone.